I've got a whole bunch of magazines right here and I thought I should put them to good use so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a penetration test on the 8 millimeter Mauser I'm just gonna shoot one of these SMB 196 grain FMJs right here from my car 98 from about 20 feet away I'm just gonna shoot one round straight into them so hopefully we can see how much penetration we get Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the results now nothing came out the side the bottom or the back so there's no exits anywhere that's a good thing I was worried it was gonna come out the side but right there we got a nice 32 caliber entry hole now let's see if we can find out where that bowl is stopped in here all together this whole thing is 20 inches long about 19 and a half inches long or thick so right here at the seven and a half or eight inch mark there's nothing it didn't even make it that far wow must have broke up pretty fast let's see what about right in here Oh, I didn't even make it to that one either. That's honestly quite surprising. Thought it would go at least sort of far. Looks like it barely even went through at all. See, look at that. So it definitely made it that far. Which is only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 19 magazines <clears throat> there's the 19th magazine right there blew a big hole straight through it now if I could just get it back down seems like it stopped right here on these two magazines so let's see how how many it went through real quick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. So it went through exactly thirty magazines and stopped on the thirty-first. Interesting. Let's see if we can get the last magazine out now. That's where it stopped. That's magazine 30, and here's magazine 31. So, there we go. That's how far it went through. Looks like there's a bunch of lead fragments and pieces of paper caught in here, which is no surprise. So, right there, magazine 30 and 31. Let's go ahead and look at the other ones just to see the carnage and devastation that it caused on its way through there okay so I recounted its magazine might look familiar it's what I said was the 19th it's actually the 22nd upon recounting so here on the 22nd magazine we got a big cavity opening up almost two inches across there so definitely a big hole and lots of expansion let's just see if we can see in here look at all that bunch of magazine particles stuck in there two inch wide hole getting bigger now so yeah look at all the magazine particles that's pretty cool and the holes even bigger now probably almost three inches across that's pretty gnarly there look at that this is where it must have stopped right in here you can see a whole bunch of jacket all caught up in there wow look at all that it's falling now there's the biggest remains of the bullet right there oh no I guess I'm wrong there's the tip of it <laughs> there's just a whole bunch of bullet fragments 
caught right here in this magazine, which is, I'm not sure, the 28th or something like that, somewhere around there towards the end. And the next one behind it, just more fragments. And here's the remains of all the bullet fragments. So after the standard lead core FMJ went through 30 magazines, here's the remains of it. There's the tip of the bullet, that's pretty cool looking. And a big old jacket fragment here. And then lots of little fragments all over. Okay, here's one last look at everything. So, for the first nearly like 20 magazines it seems, the hole stayed pretty small the whole time, see? Right there. Still small. Still pretty small in there. See all the way out to here, still a pretty small hole. But then, once it got to around 20 or so, that's when it started opening up a lot. And here's one last look at magazines 22 through 31. This is the 22nd magazine here, once it really started opening up. <coughs> There's 31 there. Just took a crack. And number 30 took a big split. 31 or I mean 29, that was the last exit there really. So there we go, that's the one of the last entries and exits. Look at how wide that is. Probably almost four inches across. Let's see. Yeah, so here towards the end, it was opened up to nearly four inches right there see that's pretty crazy but up until about magazine 20 it was just a little bullet sized hole the whole time and then the last 10 magazines it just exploded through I guess and here's one last look at the major fragments that were found there's the bullet tip big jacket fragments and then lead core fragments. That's all that remains after going through 30 magazines. So now we know a standard full metal jacket lead core 8mm Mauser will go through about 30 magazines if you have them all compressed in a box like this. Look at all the different damages here. Like fragments must have been coming through all over. That's why there's this all these different cuts throughout it. See that? Big one must have went through there. Just split the whole thing four inches across. These are the last ones here obviously. Pretty impressive. <clears throat> Alright, so when you actually take a look at the fragments here, you can see since the tip's still completely intact like that, obviously it didn't expand from the tip. And look, it's kind of bent looking. And when you look at the hole through the magazines, it seemed like around the 20th magazine, once it started to expand or whatever, at first it started to like tumble. You could see the hole like got longer sideways, like the bullet just tumbled or something. So what I think what happened was around magazine 20 when it started to expand it actually just started to tumble a little sideways and then it just snapped in half under its own enormous pressure and then broke into all the fragments that we've seen all throughout the magazines here. And here's the back of the jacket here. So that's the base of the bullet or half of it and there's the tip. Pretty cool looking remains of the tip there. There's some magazines stuck to the back of it. And then here's some of the major lead fragments that were recovered. They've got magazine welded to them. 